Okay, here's a quick uh, introduction to getting started with SAS. Um, the first thing we'll do is, uh, of course, open the program. So as we see this icon here. You may have it on your start menu. Here's mine. Um, and so SAS opens up and it asks us if we want to do a tour. Um, you're welcome to do that, of course, but I don't uh, want to do the tour. Let's move right into working with it. I'll maximize it. And the first thing you want to do to get started in SAS is go to the library area, right, right click on it, use the right click on your mouse, and uh, press new. And what we're going to do is create a new library in which to save the files uh, that we would like to keep. There are two libraries we'll see in a minute that we're going to be working with. One is called the work library or folder, and the other is called the SAS data uh, although we could name it anything we wanted to, you know, you could call it, you know, SAS Giraffe if you if you please. But um, the path uh, is, hold on one second. Let me just create a new folder here. I'm going to call this um, my new SAS data. And what's going to happen is. So if we look at this, um, the My New SAS Data folder, I'll double click on this and press OK. I'll confirm that my folder is listed up here. If it's not, I probably didn't double click on the folder. Um, so what's going to happen is when we're writing our program, we, if, we, if we want something saved permanently, a data set that we create saved permanently, we're going to put uh, SAS Data. We're going to make reference to SAS Data and tell SAS hey, save it in this library. And when we do that, it's going to write our data set that we've created to the folder that I just selected. So you can select any folder um, you wish, and that's where SAS is going to drop your data sets that you want saved permanently. This will make more sense in a minute. Um, so we double click on uh, the libraries, and we can see the SAS data folder. Um, there's nothing in it, which makes sense. We just created it. And then here's that work folder I was talking about, and indeed this one you know, has nothing in it. Um, so the work folder, as I said, is that's the default. That's where our files are going to be saved if we don't make any reference in our code to SAS data. Um, so this is the Explorer window, and I would like for you to get uh, very familiar with it. It's, it's really important, as we'll see as we move on in our lessons. Um, but this is also, you know, when you get into to, to the Explorer window, at least when I was starting out, sometimes I would get stuck and not realize how to get how to navigate around it. But it's very easy. There's always this up one level button, and provided that I have clicked and activated uh, the Explorer window, I just go up. And for me, when I go back to this, uh, it's like going to the home page, if you will, uh, with these libraries, and I see computer, and this is what, how I know to navigate. Um, so in a, you know, by the time that we're done, we'll have lots of data sets and things in these two folders. And uh, to give you an idea of what that might look like and to point out that this folder here, our library, has all kinds of data sets that come uh, as part of SAS. And so let's take a look at what a real data set looks like. Um, I double clicked on cars and SAS brings up what I think is a really neat way to view the data. It's nice and organized. Um, it reminds me of Excel if you're familiar with that program. But you know, I, I can. Th this is a great way. Once and again, this will make more sense when we, once we start making creating our own data sets. But this is how uh, best to go in and confirm that your data was written in there properly. For example, as we look at these, you know, these dollar signs, um, we'll see later that you can goof up when you're pulling uh, dollar denominated data in and um, they're, they're different. Here's this is called a character variable, where um, you know the Acura MDX as opposed to 36,200. You know MDX is is character data, and again, you just want to make sure that that gets in uh, in the way that you intended, and this is the way to do that through this window here. Um, uh, one important thing: once you've inspected the data, um, and let me do this again just to show you. So we were in this library and we clicked on this, this is called a data set, what I'm holding now. You want to make sure that you close it. If you instead minimize it, and it's down here in this bar, 
when you run your SAS code later on, it, you'll get error messages, and it's impossible to figure out why. So uh, make sure that you close it and recognize, you know, if you want to take another look at your data, you just go back and, and do that again. Um, so we're in a folder. This is the SAS help folder in Explorer. And so we'll go back up to, as I say, kind of our comfort zone. Um, now, uh, this is the that that was one of four things to pay attention to when you're working with SAS and learning how to use it. Um, the other two, excuse me, the other three windows that you want to pay attention to. One is the editor, and that's where my cursor is blinking now. This is where we'll be doing our SAS work, and it's in order to demonstrate uh, what I mean by that. Let's create our first little program here. I'm going to call this Data Socks, and uh, I'll explain how to do programming in the next videos, uh, the videos that follow. I'm inputting the variables X and Y, and this is a little statement that says, hey, data is going to be following here, and this is, these are just numbers I'm pulling out of my head to show you what it's like um, to work with um, these windows. Um, oops, and that's a good mistake to make. Enter semicolon. We'll see that semicolons are very important in SAS. Um, so now I've just created. What I'm doing here is I'm asking uh, SAS to create a new data set, and I want it called Socks. And since I did not put SAS data and reference this as a library, SAS is going to assume what I mean is to save it in the work temporary work folder. So this and this are the are equivalent statements. So to run it, we'll get in the habit of highlighting the code that we want to run, um, and you can right-click and press Submit Selection, or um, which is what I like to do. It's a little bit faster for me, but you can also press this little guy, Submit, the little uh, guy running the marathon. So I did that, and now this exp this shows you the importance, uh, or yeah, the importance of. Um, what's called the log window. The log window tells you how it went basically for your code. Did it work? Did you get any errors? And it, it just, as the name implies, you know, suggests a uh, log, it tells you what happened. So it says the data set work, so, docs, work dot socks has three observations and two variables. This tells me that it saved the data set successfully. I don't have any error messages, so that's a good sign. But let's confirm that it got in there. Oh, look, there's socks, our first uh, little set of data. And so you can see we were successful. That's what we wanted to have happen. Nothing strange about that. We'll close this. And let's take a look to understand what the log does for us and what happens if we have a mistake. Here, this is something, you know, major faux pas in SAS. I put a comma rather than a semicolon. So we're expecting that in the log thing there's going to be all kinds of mayhem. It's going to yell at us basically. Oh, look at this. Yes. Errors all over the place. No data lines or in file statement. The SAS system stopped processing this step because of errors. Maybe incomplete. Warning, you know, just general all kinds of danger. Look at these. The error codes most often are in uh, this maroon color. So things have gone well if you see mostly blue and things have gone uh, badly if you see this maroon, maroon color. Um, so let's, let's fix that and we'll put that back to a semicolon, run it again just to show you. Actually, let's, let's call this SOX2 and change our data just a little bit just to show you how easy it is. We'll be doing a lot of just altering code that we've already written as we're learning SAS. And let me show you something else too. Um, a lot of times you know, it can be confusing to realize what we're working with. Um, so I like to go in here very often and do Control New and get myself a fresh workspace in the in the log, so that I know when I run this code down here, I'm right clicking. I know now that you know what shows up in the log is only talking about the work that I've just completed, not not errors from the past. So you can see in my work folder, I've got. Uh, SOX2 is here and we just dropped a lot, one of the uh, what's called observations. We, dr we dropped the third observations from our little uh, input statement here. So um, that tells you something about the log and I'm running out of time here. Um, 
So I think I'm going to stop it now. We'll, we'll resume in the next session.